In a crowded scene, it can be very difficult to find the exact object you're looking for. There are multiple ways to focus on a selected object. You can either double click it and there we go, we found it. Or you can select an object, hover the mouse over the scene view and press F to focus on it. Notice that when focusing the same object again, either via double click or the F key, the view changes slightly. What's up with that? This is a change between two different focusing modes. One to focus on the position of the object, the other to have the whole object inside the view. Let's look at some examples for this behavior. Here we have a cube and it doesn't change a lot if we press the F key, but if we increase the scale by a lot and then use focus again, you see we focus on the origin and then it tries to get the whole thing into view. The same is true for this sprite right here. You see it doesn't change a lot, but if we increase the scale, it certainly does. And this particle system is interesting. So now it shows us the whole particle system, uh, how it is visible. And if we focus again, it focuses on the origin. But what if we increase the lifetime of the particle? And so now some of it is out of view. If we focus again and again, and then it shows us the whole particle system. Another mode to focus on an object is by using Shift and F to follow it. This is most useful for moving objects, as these get out of view quickly when just using F. So let's try it on this uh, little sprite here. And yeah, we go into play mode and we see it moving away. We press F. Okay, we jump there, but we don't follow it. We press Shift F and now we follow it completely. We can still zoom in and out while doing this and adjust values in the inspector. But if we rotate the view or deselect, then it's not going to follow it again. Focus also works in the hierarchy and project view. If lots of objects are expanded and you lost your currently selected one, just press F and it jumps to it. A wonderful thing about this is that when the hierarchy is collapsed and you press F with the object still selected, it expands it exactly to this object. Yeah, and the same is true exactly like that for the project view. You can just press F to jump to the file and also when it is collapsed, it will expand there. Focus also works in the animation window. With nothing selected, pressing F shows you the whole animation. And with some keyframes selected, it focuses on these when pressing F. This is especially helpful in the curves view as you probably have seen it like that and you can't make out anything and you're trying to zoom to some, something and it just doesn't work. Just press F with nothing selected and it shows you the whole thing in a wonderful way. And you can also edit certain keyframes and go into detail on these. Are there even more windows where this works? Indeed, there are. Check out the animator window where you can also press F to get a view of all the animations or just some selected ones. And it also works in the timeline window. Gotta select the timeline here and we press F with nothing selected and it shows the whole timeline. We select something, press F and it shows only this part. So you get the idea. I encourage you to check through all the windows you can think of and try it out for yourself. If you find another window where this is particularly useful, please share what you found in the comments so everyone can benefit from your knowledge.